Welcome. In this Walmart job application guide video, I'm going to reveal much inside information to help you decide whether a Walmart job is for you. I'm also going to let you in on the best method to apply at Walmart and get hired quickly. You're going to see the starting pay. You'll see what it's like working at Walmart as told by past and present employees. What type of jobs are available for entry level or experienced workers? You'll see Walmart warehouse distribution center jobs and their starting pay. The minimum age to work at Walmart. You'll learn how to apply at Walmart, including some great tips on the best way to get hired quickly. I'll show you what the interview and hiring process is like and how long it takes to get hired at Walmart. I'll let you know if Walmart drug tests applicants before they're hired. I'll give you the benefits and then some final thoughts. Make sure you like this video because it makes the YouTube algorithm help your friends and family members and people in general find these videos. And subscribe so you can stay on top of what kind of jobs are available for you, your family, and your friends. All right, so the starting pay to work an entry-level job at Walmart is usually $11 an hour. However, in early 2020, Walmart took 500 stores and decided to give its entry-level workers, called Team Associates, $12 an hour to start as an experiment in order to keep up with the competition from companies that pay at least 15 bucks an hour to start, such as Target, Costco, and Amazon. These team associates work entry-level jobs such as cashiers, stockers, and deli, etc. Therefore, almost one-third of Walmarts carry a starting pay of $12 an hour. What is it like to work at Walmart? Well, past and present employees who have reviewed Walmart give this company a very average rating. They rate this company on work-life balance, job security and advancement, the pay and the benefits, management, and the working culture. Here are some of the pros and cons employees talked about. First, the pros. For employees who work hard and prove themselves to management, you get plenty of hours and some overtime if you want them. Walmart provides training for advancement, and there is no limit on how far you can go within this company if you set your sights on a promotion. There are far more comments on great management than there is bad management within the store. Your co-workers are generally very friendly, supportive, and nice. The pay keeps improving. You get good paid breaks and one unpaid 30-minute to one-hour meal break if you work an eight-hour shift. Management works around your personal schedule to the best of their ability when they're scheduling your hours. Now for the cons. Sometimes you have to deal with rude customers. Some complaints about management not treating their employees fairly. You get that. The pay is too low. You have to work weekends. There are lazy co-workers. And health benefits co-payment is way too high for the low pay you earn bi-weekly. Now for the jobs available at Walmart. The entry-level retail and sales associate jobs are cashier and front end. As a cashier, you're going to stand for long periods of time while you check out the customer's purchases. In the front end, it means you're going to be handling the cart and janitorial services, which involves gathering the shopping carts and placing them in the proper places, cleaning the restrooms, parking lots, and maintaining the sales floor. The food and grocery. There are a variety of jobs available in this area in the deli, dairy, bakery, meat, and other departments. You're going to be preparing and packing food, completing deli orders, helping customers find the right fruits and vegetables in the produce section, and many other responsibilities. Stocking and unloading. This is a very physical position that will feel like you're working out hard every single day. You'll unload trucks and place products on the shelves, and you'll be helping customers find the items they're looking for on a constant basis. There are a few other responsibilities, and they all have to do with maintaining adequate stock in your store. General merchandising. This is a sales position where you'll be assigned to one of the many departments in the store, such as in the toys department, entertainment, sporting goods, or apparel. Your job is going to be to help customers choose the right products and facilitate the checkout process for them. Online order filling and delivery. This job is all about fulfilling orders placed by Walmart customers online. This is a fast paced job that will have you walking a few miles a day as you select the right products for every order. Then customers can choose to pick up their products in person or have them delivered. Walmart uses delivery services such as DoorDash or Postmates to deliver the items you have fulfilled for the customers. The fuel station. In this entry level position, you're going to assist customers in fueling up their vehicles and assisting with their purchases at the fuel stations. Now, for jobs that require experience, they are auto care center associate, 
As an associate here, your duties are to change tires, change oil, and other general maintenance required by vehicles. You're going to have to become certified to use certain powered equipment and overall be very mechanically inclined. This job simply requires experience in maintaining cars. The health and wellness associate is going to be working in the pharmacy and the vision center. And in these positions, you're going to be assisting customers when they check out their prescriptions and answer questions about their over-the-counter medication. In the Vision Center, you'll be assisting customers with their purchases of contact lens and glasses. Of course, there are certified pharmacy tech jobs as well as pharmacist salaried positions. Now for the store management positions. Every Walmart has an assistant manager and a store manager. The assistant manager, for this position, you have to have at least two years of college or if not, two years of experience working as a supervisor in a retail setting. You're going to be the store manager's right-hand person, and you will be completing many of the daily tasks a store manager performs. The average salary for this position is currently about $52,000 a year, but that doesn't include the yearly bonuses and other incentives that you may receive on a yearly basis. The store manager. In case you haven't noticed, the store manager at Walmart makes a really high salary. Believe it or not, they earn an average of about $175,000 a year. I know it sounds crazy, but Walmart has been criticized by the press for giving their managers such a high salary while paying associates such a low hourly wage. Still, something important to realize is the fact that 66% of store managers earning this type of money began as, believe it or not, hourly associates. Wow, that is very impressive. Now for the distribution center warehouse jobs. Walmart has over 150 distribution centers located across the United States. Chances are there is one near you. Walmart has some of the highest paying warehouse associate jobs in the retail industry. Entry level distribution jobs pay around $17.50 an hour to start. You can find so, uh, jobs such as freight handler, maintenance technician, and area managers. The average warehouse associate makes approximately $35,000 to $38,000 a year. Now for the minimum age to work at Walmart. The minimum age is 16 years old. Walmart hires part-time workers usually at the age of 16. And it's a good idea to consult with your parents if you're 16 or 17 and you're still in high school because you don't want your work to interfere with your studies. How to apply at Walmart. Walmart prefers for you to apply online and you can do it in English or in Spanish. You can visit the store and use the kiosk or you can use your own device at home. Before you begin the application process, you have to register for a free account. At the beginning, the system is going to let you know that you will have to have a background check and a drug screening. To qualify as an applicant and get a job there, you have to agree to both. The application will ask you about your personal information, so make sure you have details of your education, your employment history, and some references. Make sure that when you're asked about when you're available to work, don't be picky and put down that you're open to just a few days. Put down that you're open to all days and all shifts if possible. This will ensure that you have the best chance of getting hired. If, of course, if you have family obligations and you can't do this, try to at least indicate that you're available to work on the weekends. The Walmart application is going to give you an assessment test that has 65 questions towards the end. It is very easy and has everything to do with common sense, so don't worry too much. Keep in mind that if you don't get selected for your initial job application, you can log into your account and apply for other jobs because your application stays active for 60 days. Now for some really great tips on how to get hired fast at Walmart. Here's what I recommend you do if you want to have the best chance of getting hired quickly. Dress up in nice business casual wear and visit the store that you've chosen to work at. Try your best to meet with someone in management, preferably a hiring manager. At the very least, make contact with the human resource department. When you introduce yourself, show some personality and try to be as polite, energetic, and as happy as possible. You want to be smiling quite a bit. Ask the person you have made contact with what is the best way to apply for the job. Let that person guide you. That person might tell you to use the store's kiosk to apply, or they might tell you to just go home and apply on your own time. Either way, you will have made contact with someone live, and they will already know who you are. Give that person your contact information, which includes your name, phone number, and email address. Thank the person for their time and tell that person you will follow up during the next couple of weeks. If two weeks go by and you don't get a call, fulfill your promise by going back. Visit them to check on the status of your application. Do not call them on the phone because this usually does not work. These tips will give you the best possible chance to not get overlooked and to place your application at the very top of the pile.
the Walmart interview. If you fill out the application on the store's kiosk, you may be interviewed on that very same day. Either way, when you complete the interview for the first time, it will only last five to 10 minutes on average. You'll be asked questions such as, why do you want to work at Walmart? Tell us about your work experience. How would you handle a rude customer? Tell us about yourself. And what are your career goals at Walmart? It's a good idea to go online and perform a Google search on common interview questions so you can rehearse how to answer them. There's plenty of free information out there that is absolutely excellent and can really give you an edge. I've included a link to a great article regarding this in the description. The timetable for getting hired at Walmart after you submit your job application online is anywhere between two to four weeks on average. You may also have to go through a second interview before you get hired. Does Walmart drug test its new applicants? Walmart generally does not drug test new entry-level hires before they're offered a job. It is simply much too costly to be able to drug test every single person who is a candidate for a position. Walmart occasionally will drug test somebody who throws up red flags. However, if you're applying for some type of management position or other salary job, you can expect a full background check and a drug test before you get offered a job. What are the benefits? Walmart offers a comprehensive health benefits program for full-time workers and salaried employees only, which includes health, vision, and dental. However, many employees complain that the co-payment is way too high considering the low pay they receive. For a salaried employee making over 60 grand, this is probably not a concern. However, for somebody just barely getting by at $11 an hour, it's next to impossible. They also have a 401k, stock purchase plans, and basic life insurance benefits where you're enrolled for coverage that is equal to your yearly pay up to $50,000 max. There is also education assistance for you and your family, discounts on merchandise in the store, paid military service, paid time off, which includes vacation, sick, and parental leave, and short and long-term disability. Now my final thoughts. You may be wondering, is a job at Walmart the right choice for me? That's a great question. Only you can answer that question, but I'm going to give you my opinion. And I'll first start with who I don't think this job is right for. If you are changing careers and need to have a steady job with good pay and manageable health benefits for you and your family, this is probably not the place for you. Getting a job at Target would be a much better option because of the higher starting salary and similar co-payments for the health plan. Costco would be even better because they have a lower copayment and better benefits, and they're soon going to be paying a minimum of $16 an hour. If you decide to take a Walmart job to support your family, I hope you have aspirations of moving up the ladder into a management position at some point, because then it would be worth it. For young workers trying to get their feet wet in the retail business, a job at Walmart is actually a pretty darn good choice. You're going to learn all about teamwork and customer service in a very high-paced atmosphere, and this can give you an edge in the future if you're looking to advance your career. For college students looking for a management career, Walmart is the holy grail of retail management. With salaries that can go up as high as $225,000 a year for a store manager, if you come well prepared and put your time in and effort, you can see yourself in this position in a few short years. All in all, Walmart is not my first choice when it comes to retail jobs but it is absolutely a solid choice. Still, I recommend you shop around and look at other companies before you dive in. For more awesome job application videos, click this to your right, and to subscribe to this channel, click this button to your left.